My name is Matthias Cavodi. I'd like to welcome guys to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Namor, the worst Avenger. Actually, this is going to be a series of videos. I don't remember if I already did another worst Avenger or worst X-Men series in this channel yet. I did, used to do them way back in the day. <clears throat> Today we're going to focus on Namor. Particular Avengers lineup that just can't stop taking bad decisions. Um, the team is actually composed of Namor, Captain Marvel, Black Knight, She-Hulk, Thor, Dr. Druid, how can I forget him, who I do think is the worst Avenger ever. And weirdly, one time I talked about this in, a, um, like in this, uh, I was dedicated to Avengers, and there are a lot of um, Dr. Druid defenders that really like this character. I was really surprised. But today we're going to focus on Namor, how he takes a bunch of really bad decisions and this leads to a ton of people getting killed and also this Avengers lineup. So we're going to cover Avengers 291 to 293. These came out in 1988. I was 7 years old. I wasn't collecting comic books back then at this time, but 1980s goodness. Like 80s comics are the best. At least I enjoy them a lot. Walt Simonson is the writer and John Buscema is the artist. So how does the story start? focuses this first with a plot that's going to come further down the line uh, where this woman is trying to manipulate Dr. Druid for uh, she's going to make this power move against Kang and the Kangs and it's a real big mess but we don't want to know about that we're going to focus on the rest of the Avengers and as I said before on Namor and his ex-wife Marina she was part of an alien race called I used to think they were called Polydex for a real long time. No, they're called Plodex. Be a member of Alpha Flight. And actually, <clears throat> during this time, uh, Avengers would have quite a few crossovers with Alpha Flight. Avengers have been invited to this upscale party. But while at the party, Marina sees a fish, fish tank. There's a bunch of goldfish. <clears throat> she grows up, snatches one, starts eating it. Namor tells her, what the hell are you doing? You have to act civilized. She flips out, starts eating the fish. She turns into a monster, runs away, goes into the ocean, and starts killing people left and right. <laughs> Seeing the whole story arc uh, with all different Kangs from different timelines starting to battle it out. But what happens to Marina, she evolves into her beast mode or a her alien monster mode. <clears throat> She's going to be called Leviathan now. And she's, she was really bent out of shape after the whole goldfish thing. She starts going through the seas, sinking ships left and right, causing tsunamis, destroying whole communities that live by the sea. And the Avengers are like really sluggish, sluggish to take action. Namor really doesn't want the Avengers to attack his wife, even though she's killing a ton of people. Like, obviously Marvel's not going to show the she's dropping bodies left and, and eating people left and right but it's really obvious she's sinking these ships you know they have crew they, these seaside communities too Neymar stops his teammates he goes into the sea tries to talk some sense to his wife or ex-wife I don't remember what the marital state was at this time I can understand that he's going to have ethical issues and moral issues of what he's going to do with his wife that turned into a monster what would you do if your mo wife would turn into a monster but a real one they do <laughs> no i was going to get into a real bad joke but the idea is the, the avengers just can't stop deliberating what they should do while marina's out there causing all types of trouble navy tries to stop marina but namor tells him just don't attack she's my wife <laughs> <laughs> and she immediately sinks a whole fleet of ships. So, we have Namor sulking at the bottom of the sea. I guess he's thinking to himself, hey, I, I should do something <laughs> while she's looking at all these ships that have been sunk. Um, the guys from the, the neighbor, tell, he tells the Avengers, like, boy, you guys really suck. <laughs> like, you, we, you should really resolve and fix this problem that you, you're sort of part, a part of. Do something. And uh, actually, Namor really doesn't take a hard stance until he starts killing people that are part of um, Atlanteans. So that's sort of a dick move by Namor. Obviously, they're his people, but uh, <laughs> he's an Avenger. He should 
he said it took a harder stance right off at the, right at the beginning. Well, Dr. Druid does nothing to help the team. <laughs> That's another thing. He's always like doing his Dr. Druid stuff and just leaving his teammates to fix this problem. Then just create this device that reverts her back into her normal state. But she flips out again. She turns back into Leviathan. And what happens is Namor, like, Black Knight has a sword that has a curse on it. If it draws blood, it's real bad news for Black Knight. Uh, he, it has a curse. And the thing is, Namor actually takes the sword from Black Knight and strikes and kills uh, Marina. And so that's, like, like, really messed up. It just, and it does, it has a terrible effect on Black Knight. But Namor doesn't care. He ends up killing Marina. But she left a bunch of eggs, so where there's a possibility of more of these Leviathans popping up further down into the future. But the thing is, Namor, as an Avenger, took too many bad decisions. And this particular lineup has a real tendency of doing that. So that's why, at least for this video, Namor was the worst Avenger. But Dr. Druid is going to be even worse further down in the next story arc. So, hope you guys like this video. See you guys next time. Bye.